Hi guys, I teach students how to prepare for the IELTS speaking test. I've made lots of videos to help students, so I'm putting them in a series here on YouTube so you can see examples of how to answer the questions on the IELTS speaking test. Please remember that the topics can change, but the categories do not. The general categories are about travel, family, where you're from, where you have been, where you'd like to go, and so on. So if you remember those general categories and study these videos, you'll have examples of the most important thing on the IELTS speaking test, which is to tell a story. Tell a story about yourself that shows your enthusiasm for the subject or a memory that's special for you or your opinion. Those kind of stories are very interesting for the IELTS examiner. The IELTS examiners can do uh, hundreds of different IELTS interviews during a year. They have to listen to many people tell stories poorly because they don't put any life in the story from their own life or haven't thought about these general categories of subjects. So please let me help you by subscribing to these videos and you can learn how to be successful on the IELTS speaking test. I've also written a book for my students. You can see the link below and the book can help you. It has over 150 different examples. The next part of this video will be an example of an IELTS speaking test question that's been on a recent test. Prepare well and tell a great story. Your first question was about a journey that I took that uh, did not turn out as expected. And your second question is about what, why do people like or dislike journeys? Uh, I like journeys because I like seeing new things and experiencing them. I like um, tasting new foods. I, I like exploring different cultures. And I've had the chance to travel outside of where I grew up. Some people don't like journeys. They feel more comfortable at home with what's familiar to them. It depends on what you value. Uh, for me, it's being able to explore the world a little bit and other people's cultures and languages and food. That's uh, always been something that interests me. So I look forward to journeys.